Hi guys, and welcome back to Rich Reviews. Welcome to uh, a, a bit of a change here, well a very big change actually. I'm just going to call this Cars and Curls and this is obviously approaching into the um, into, into training and exercise and keeping fit and nutrition and such like but this is going to be what it takes to grow muscle and it is going to, like I say, it's going to be brutally raw. I've trained and competed since I was 17, pretty much 17 and I'm qualified martial arts instructor, qualified skiing instructor, and trained for fitness and strength events, uh, performed tough guy competitions, stages of the Tour de France cycling, mountain bike competitions. So I, you know, from the age of 17, I'm now 57. I've performed many events, taken part in many events, many competitions, and you know, I was in martial arts for many years. And throughout all my sporting career, you have to learn um, how to change your physique for all the different sports that I took part in. I've changed my body many, many times, whether it be for martial arts, obviously gaining great flexibility, um, or whether it be for events that take power and strength. So obviously creating a physique, a, a strength physique, so growing muscle in effect. And all this has been done, and I cannot stress this enough, cleanly, never any drugs, just pure nutrition. It's all about nutrition, it's all about training hard, and the key, key thing that you need is consistency. You've got to want it, you've got to be dedicated to actually put the effort in to achieve it, um, and you can achieve it, it will take time. Yeah, you shove steroids in your body, you can achieve these things a lot, lot quicker, a hell of a lot quicker, but you bugger your body up. Never touched anything in my life, not even close to taking drugs, I've not even smoked a spliff. That's how sad does that sound? But, you know, so, sorry I've gone on a bit, but let's get down to it. I'm gonna show you today, I'm gonna to do an arms training session. I'm gonna show you today what it takes to grow muscle on your triceps and on your biceps. Now I'm 57 years old, I'm still retaining my muscle mass. And at my biggest, I've got my arms to grow up to, which I focus really hard on, to 17 and a half inches. I got to that size, I believe when I was about, uh, 55, 56, I got my arms to 17 and a half inches in size and to be able to achieve that and maintain it through nutrition and through just a bloody good work ethic, obviously I've got all the knowledge behind me, all these years of knowledge, um, is impressive, you know, I mean, you know, I'm 57 years old, never taken drugs ever and yet I'm, be able to, I'm able to create a strong physique and, and maintain my strong physique and my muscle mass. Hell, anybody can do it, especially people younger, there's no excuses. Here we're not on about moving away from A to B. Weight training is about moving a, a weight in such that it puts the muscle under the most strain possible to force it to grow. So if you think about it, if you're not taking any drugs, if you're clean, then literally what you're doing here is you're putting the muscle under such stress and such load that it's saying to itself, holy shit, this is so extreme to what I'm used to. I've got to grow more muscle fibers. I've got to grow stronger to be able to deal with this load because I keep getting this load and, and, and I'm just not strong enough to deal with it. In effect, that's what you've got to do. You've got to force your muscles to grow. You, you've got to try and push a weight that you're not used to pushing or you've got to push past amount of reps to the extreme where if your life depended on it, you could not do another repetition. And I, I can't emphasize that enough. If your life depended on it, you could not do another repetition. That is what it takes to grow muscle. If you're not willing to sign up to that, then forget it. You ain't gonna do, achieve it unless you shove a load of drugs in your body. And that's why a lot of people do shove drugs in the body because they aren't willing to put the effort in uh, or they can't deal with the pain and the effort taken, in, um, taken to, the, to achieve that. Anyway, I'm gonna shut up now and I'm gonna show you some exercise and I'm gonna talk you through those exercises. So, uh, first of all, I say if, if you if you like this style of video, please let me know in the comments below, um, and I'll create a lot more content in this manner. And um, we can, uh, you know, I can I can create a lot more content, give away free information on how you can grow a physique and how you can get stronger. Obviously, still hooking into the cars, and you know, just to focus on the cars here. Let's sw switch around. 
there's the 458 as you can see there so unfortunately that's the only bit of car content you're going to get in this video because uh, the car's in storage um, for the winter so as I, as I did before the car's in storage so it's not going to be used pretty much now until the springtime so uh, let's uh, let's get on let's get down to it so first of all I'm going to show you around my make to make make do gym which obviously is in the garage but this is to show you that you you don't need any special equipment okay um, you just need to do the hard graft it's as brutal as that you know you don't need to buy thousands and thousands of pounds worth of equipment um, you just need to know what you're doing get and do the exercise consistency hard work and nutrition that's what makes you grow a physique so I'm just gonna switch the camera around and just show you um, the equipment that I've got these are my dumbbells that I use I use these for everything this is the only main core um, weights that I've got which obviously are for overload and for um, metabolic stress so use progressive overload to great muscle um, and metabolic stress and I'll go through those as I'm doing the different types of exercise so I've got this space that's what I use to train nothing more that's that's all you need and within that space I can do all the back exercises the chest press exercises the the arm exercises I need to do these flex bells are fantastic yeah, they're not cheap, um, circa about four or five hundred pounds, a um, bit more with the stand as well, um, with this stand as well. They're called Flex Bells by Nuo. Um, adjustable up to 32 kilograms each dumbbell. You adjust them purely by the handle. Look how easy that is. And as you adjust them down, they actually reduce in size. So if I take it down to four, that's four kilograms. If I take it, if I push it up to eight kilograms, then it brings up in effect adds more discs to the dumbbell if i take it up to 20 there you go and that's 20 kilograms so I'll side it off at eight because i'm going to do some warm ups on, on that and say this is this is the working area you know i've got a mat there that i'll put down um, i'll put that mat down so as um i can do some exercises when i'm doing my tricep exercises but as i say is nothing special guys no magic going on here at all it's hard graft knowledge nutrition consistency so the first thing you've got to do is warm up so to warm up you need to get the joints moving you get the synovial fluid moving around within the joints synovial fluid helps to lubricate the joints it's actually inside your joints but you need to start getting the joints warmed up to get the synovial fluid moving around the last thing you want to do is start pushing heavy weights when you're cold and when the muscles aren't warmed up and when the joints aren't warmed up that's when injuries occur okay so this is the windmill exercise this also loosens up your upper back as well as as i say getting the shoulder joints moving so let's get the biceps warmed up again you know the uh, key thing here is we're not on about we're not doing ego training we're not trying to move a weight from a to b what we're trying to do is use a weight and uh, to, to, we're trying to use a weight to create as much muscle damage as possible to force that muscle to grow or to force that muscle to maintain its muscle mass or its size or its muscle fiber density there's all sorts of different types of muscle fibers maybe i'll go into it into a different different video um, that's you know it's not important now obviously when you're doing higher reps using slower twitch muscles when you're doing um, heavier weights, smaller reps, then you're using uh, fast twitch muscle. So let's get into some curls. So the key things to do when you're warming up, especially full range of movement, I'm lengthening my bicep, contracting my tricep, and that is a full range of movement on the bicep. So that the both heads of the bicep are fully stretched. Um, so uh, um, it's full range of movement because that's how it, what you need to do to warm up. And then the full contraction at the top. So let's just get some reps in. Right, so that's just the warm-up set. Give it about 30 seconds, 40 seconds. So it's pretty cold here. And then we'll move into doing a little bit of a heavy weight. Okay guys, so <clears throat> gonna move up to a slightly heavier weight now. It's so gonna move up to 12 kilograms per dumbbell. And again, some more curls, but not so many reps this time. Again, we're still trying to keep, um, to get the, the biceps warmed up, to get some um, blood flow into the actual biceps so you don't tear your biceps when you start doing the heavy sets. So 12 kilograms dumbbells. Okay. 
doing not so many reps at the time, moving up to 16 now. We're going to start dropping down the repetitions now um, and moving up to heavier weights. And you'll see the, the, the form drop a little bit, but we're still in general keep it to the same form of curling, contracting as hard as you can. And you'll notice also that I'm concentrating a lot on controlling the weight now. When you're doing the warm-up sets, it's not so important because you're not breaking down the muscle fibers because you're not, you're not anywhere near failure. But when we're going to the heavier weights, when I'm going to failure, then you'll see me focusing a lot more on contracting the bicep at the top and obviously not flailing my arms around. Keep your, your upper arm solid, down as much as you can to the side, contracting the bicep. Might lift my arms up a little bit. As I said, the long head of the bicep is contracted more as you pull your, because it actually helps to assist and pull your shoulder up, pull your, your put, lift your arm up. So you might see me move my arm up a bit, but in general, you won't see me throwing around and using body weight to use the, the weight because that's not how you grow muscle and not how you maintain muscle. So I've moved it up to 16 kilograms now. So this is gonna be heavy and I've got a lot of problems with my right shoulder at the moment. So you'll probably see me flinch and continually uh, trying to keep it warm, etc. Um, because it's, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's quite painful. Let's try 16 kilograms. Now what I'll do in general is I'll do, going to do eight sets of curls using dumbbells and what I'll do is I'll do around uh, five sets using this weight and you'll see me do some double arm curls and then part way through the set because I'll fail on the double arm curls I'll then move to single arm curls choose um, so you can focus on one arm so one wild arm is curling obviously the other arm is getting a bit of a rest so it allows you to carry on and do more reps but again as I said before you've got to be careful with doing the single arm curls because you can move um, I'm just going to set my time I usually set myself a, a minute's rest in between sets because you can use um, body weight to help you get the dumbbell up which of course is no good so just give myself another 30 seconds let's so just do the second set now on 16s You'll hear me make all sorts of grunts noises. Well, that's because I'm putting effort in. If it's not hard, if you're not working hard, you're not going to break down the muscle fibers. This is just water, by the way. You don't need any supplements. The only reason you need supplements, by the way, I mean, we'll get into supplements and nutrition into a whole another set of videos. I say uh, subscribe to this video so if you want to receive all future videos if you like this content please subscribe please let me know in the comments below if this is the sort of content you want it's free content it's free advice on how to grow muscle i've done it from the age of 17 to the age of 57. okay so we're ready to do another set 16 again I do realize those last couple of reps weren't full reps but I'm at failure there and they are working the muscle they have gone past failure and I'm just trying to eat the last bit out of the muscle now I'll be dropping the weight down for the lesser sets so um, that will then make sure I'm getting better range of movement and working the bicep more but this is what's called progressive overload so it's in this in this case of progressive overload, you're using a heavier weight, heavier weight, heavy weight all the time to put your muscles under much more and more load and duress, which breaks down muscle fibers. Then there's metabolic stress, which is high volume, 
So in effect, you're blowing them up with high volume of, of um, repetitions, uh, which expands out and in effect, with the amount of blood flow into the muscle fibers, forces um, small tears in the muscle fibers, which again, will grow back. Um, if you, if you take in the right nutrition, will grow back um, the fibers, grow the fibers back stronger. I'm not checking messages or anything. I'm just resetting the timer. So as I get my timer reset for uh, the minute break. So on to five sets now, I'm going to drop it down to 12 kilograms on the weights, you see that, just <laughs> with these flex bells, fantastic bits of kit. Literally just twist the grip, both of them in one, that's it, you change from 16 kilograms to 12 kilograms, fantastic. Not sponsored by flex bells or anything, this video, as you can see from the, um, the footage I showed you of the where I'm training, I haven't got room to put racks and racks of dumbbells in. Um, I will tidy up the garage a bit more um, when it comes to summer next year, maybe before the summer next year. Um, I'm gonna put all the stuff in boxes on proper racks and on see-through boxes, but that's another thing we're not talking about. Uh, clearing out my garage here, we're talking about weight training. By the way, when you see people walk around the gym a lot doing this thing that I'm doing now, walking, just walking, pacing up and down, etc. Um, usually you'll find it's people who have a lot of experience, have trained hard for many, many years to do that. And what they're actually doing, I can tell you now, because I've done it for years, what you're actually doing is you're getting your head into the next set. You're getting yourself focused on what you need to do, how you need to feel the next set, and the work you need to do. And you're focusing your mind for the effort you've got to put in. So in effect, you're psyching yourself up. Um, because each set has to be your best set. None of this last set, best set crap. Each set has to be your best set. But you see, I'm putting more range of movement in now. I'm using a lighter weight, making sure I'm contracting properly at the top, controlling the weight down, fully lengthening the bicep, contracting the triceps, and switching to individual curls. I was at a coffee shop once with my son. Um, lovely summer's day, we were traveling somewhere along the, on the M4 corridor. And we stopped off at uh, one of the service stations. And uh, there was a youngish lad behind the counter who served me. I had a t-shirt on, and this is going back a couple of years now. Uh, I had a t-shirt on and obviously showed off my physique. And um, this young lad said to me, so, uh, how long then? 10 weeks? <laughs> 10 weeks. <laughs> I laughed at him, I said, 10 weeks? I said, try 40 years. <laughs> he said, his actual phrase was along the lines of, sod that, then ain't worth doing. And I'm thinking, well, that's why people don't, that's why everybody doesn't, doesn't walk around with a good physique. Because a lot of them, their attitude is, sod that, I ain't putting the effort in. Right, next set. Try and sense so you can see me better. do you'll see me on the last couple of reps there when I've gone I'll, I'll do as many reps as I can on dual to put the biceps under as much strain as possible without any cheating then I'll switch to individuals again trying to just do more reps while the other bustle while the other arm is given a slight rest gives me the ability to carry on the set and then at the end I'll just do a, a couple of assisted reps where I'm partly throwing the weight up but it's very controlled 
um, I'm controlling it still in a biceps in effect I'm using enough assist to be able to work the biceps and to carry on working the biceps to try and take them past failure it's continuing the set um, past failure which is a uh, you know when you've been training a lot you learn these techniques I'm just restarting the counter again you learn these techniques um, to uh, to grow muscle the hard way the only way usually I train for no longer than 40 minutes uh, this is going to be tr protracted out a little bit longer because I've got the camera here and I'm talking to the camera normally I'll be um, bang on maximum minute rest between sets and I'll do 40 minutes on on my arm session pretty much 40 minutes on any session that I'm doing to be honest if you're if you're training for hours you're taking too many breaks because the body cannot train past about 40 minutes to an hour um, training to failure you just can't um, no matter how fit you are um, the only people who can do that are either taking too many breaks not training hard enough or you're on steroids bar none that's how it is okay let's go into the next set so I've got two more sets to do Most people probably you'd be watching this thinking that I'm making these noises intentionally. I'm not, believe you me, I'm putting effort in, I'm putting extreme effort in. And if you think, well, <laughs> Christ, having to put that much effort in to every single set on every single training session, that's what it takes to grow muscle. <laughs> that's, that's what it takes to put the muscle under progressive overload and when I get to doing higher volumes later on, metabolic stress. That's, that's what can I say, that's what it takes. <laughs> right, let's go, last set. Uh, uh, okay, so at the end, that's the end of the key bicep exercise. We'll do some more biceps later on. Um, but that's eight sets. In general, you shouldn't do any more than eight to 12 sets per muscle group. Um, as long, you know, if, if you're training hard and training properly, you won't be able to. As you can see, I was failing there when I was um, towards the end of those sets and I was failing earlier on each step. Why? Well, because I was fatigued. You know, how you should be if you're training hard enough.